I'm David. This is DJ Daddy Style. Yes, it is. Thank you so much for joining us again today. Yep. Hey, do you like our background? Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Doesn't it remind you of the Very Hungry Caterpillar? Of the what? 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 You don't know what the Very Hungry Caterpillar is? I have no idea what it's you're like talking about right now. It's like the best children's story ever. <laughs> no? Okay. Anyway. Do I know Robert Munch. Yeah. And... What else? Oh, like... The Mr. Men books. Oh yeah, they were good. Yeah, they, they were I like the them. ones that were just like that big and it was like Mr. Happy and Mr. Grumpy yeah. and Mr. Hungry and I was definitely Mr. Hungry. Yeah. 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 We, we we read a lot of um, Little Critter. Little Critters? Yeah. yeah I like, love Little Critter. Like, yeah. Are those the ones that have like the really like crazy hair and... I think so. Yeah. Little Critter goes to Grandma and Grandpa's and... Yeah. Little Critter just does this and... It's like the kid and his sister, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay, yeah. yeah. I know what you're talking yeah. about. Now, I know that one. Yeah. Good. The Caterpillar? No. No clue. I'll, I'll get him the book, because I'm sure you know that story, right? Yeah. 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 What about yeah. my shirt? Does it clash? Is it okay? Yeah, I have no clue. You're, you're fine. I am, I am so... I have no idea yeah. what any style or colors or yeah. anything like that. Like, I'm not colorblind, but I might as well be because I have no clue at all about all color schemes and stuff. That's why I need my wife. Yeah. Because yeah. she dresses me. Yeah. And we just didn't want to ask them right now to give us their thoughts. So, yeah. anyway, today's topic, we want to, um, we just want to sit down and, uh, which we're doing. Yes. Uh, which we do every other week. That's true. And, uh, we want to talk about how we help our wives. Yeah, we don't have any, we don't have any videos that we want to show no, you this time. We're not, chat. we're not going to Walmart. We're not, uh, we're not doing anything nope. else. We're, we're just going to sit down and we want, we want to be real with you guys. Yep. And, you know, if we, if we were to, to come in and just be all fun and games and haha and laughter, then that would be great, but it would only be great for a certain amount of yeah, time. Yeah, get and old, then, right? And then, then there would be like this expectation, like, oh, what are they going to do next? Yeah. You know, but, but right now we want to sit down and be real with you. And yep. Jordy said that we want to talk to you about how we help our wives. Yeah. Um, Sam is a stay at home mom. Yep. So is Allison. And, and the, the whole point is that, uh, we've talked so many times, Sam and I, about, um, you know, like, do you, do, she's, she's asking me, do I need to get a job? Do I need to start help, helping out financially? Do I need to, you know, to, to, you know, put the kids in daycare? Mm -hmm. And I know that it's the same for Jordy because we've talked about this many times. Yep. And, and it's so important that, that I keep Sam with the kids. Yep. And I'm not saying that daycare is a bad thing. I'm not saying that if you need to have two incomes coming in, I'm not saying that's bad at all. No. I just know from my situation and for my kids, I know I needed to have Sam with them. The same with us. We, uh, Allison had her time off on paternity leave and after our first uh, kid was born. And when Annabelle was one year old, Al Allison went back to work and she was back to work for maybe three or four months and she came home and she was just devastated every single day. Um, she was in tears and you know just she missed Annabelle and she wanted to be home and that was her heart's cry and so we sat down and we you know we did the budget and we we went through everything to do what we had to do so that we could live and survive on one income right and uh, and it's a sacrifice but you know we have three kids now and um, they get to see, you know, their mum every day and they go through all the routines and um, we're actually uh, discussing uh, homeschooling as well. So that's kind of the next stage um, for us. We may do that. Um, that would be starting in the fall. Uh, and uh, yeah, I, I think for me it's, you know, it's, it's her desire, but as her partner, I, I really have to, um, I, you know, I have to support that and I have to do what I can too, right? Like, you know, we're a family, right? So, um... Yeah, so what, what do you do to well, support her as well? Well, very, very similar situation with us. Yeah. Uh, we, we had Noah, and Sam got off of her, her maternity leave, mm. um, which, uh, you know, she was just, she was a secretary in my dad's office before mm. that. And, uh, and so after we had Noah, she was home for quite a while, and then the time came, and we're like, we, we don't know what to do, we're really strapped financially, which is a whole other story, and I will get into that another time, I promise, because I know that that's something that's, that's yeah. huge. good to share. I, yeah. and, and I want to be able to share that with you guys. But, uh, but we, we got to the point, and Sam said, well, maybe I, I really need to get a job. Luckily, my, my parents live about five minutes away from us, mm -hmm. and so my mom was able to come over um, every day and 
and watch Noah while Sam went and worked as a teller in the bank. Mm. And she liked it at first, and she actually met one of her really good friends that they still they still hang out and talk a lot now cool. um, at this bank. But uh, it was just something that was draining her. She was only supposed to be two or three days a week, but then they started asking her to be there more mm. and it got to be a uh, full five days a week for for full-time hours yeah. and where it was great to have that extra income coming in um, at the same time she was getting drained she was just getting drained yeah. and she she wanted to be she wanted to be there for Noah and actually it was uh, the reason why she left is because she was pregnant with May mm. and so she went on her maternity leave from uh, from the bank and she just decided not to not yeah. to go back and and we knew that it was something that we had to do Yeah, and you know, just uh, just just making that Making herself available to be with the kids all the time because she has such uh, such a, um, a, a, a Mothering and nurturing heart mm -hmm. that she she needed to be with the kids and as as much as my mom loved being with Noah On that daily basis. She was getting tired, too. Yeah, uh, you know my my yeah. mom is yeah. she, she's in her 60s now and uh, and so being with being with Noah who's of course a boy <laughs> Uh, all the time was was draining on her so we know that we needed to to do that and and so that's one of the ways that I wanted to be sure that that I'm supporting mm -hmm. uh, I'm supporting Sam and and that's it was really important for us yeah yeah mm -hmm. yeah I, I just want to throw in here like this is our journey right like um, this isn't the way that everybody needs to do it should do it or anything like that this is just our journey right yeah. and um, it just happens to be similar right and I think that's what has um, built our friendship as well. You know, there's there's that similarities too. But, uh, right now, we want to talk a little bit about what we do inside the house. Yeah. Um, under under our roof, inside our four walls, that that help our wives. Yeah. Um, you know, they are with those kids all, all day, all the time. Yeah. Every day, and yeah. they they don't ask for a break. I know Sam Sam does not ask for a no, break. She doesn't. You know, there. My wife either. <laughs> there, there yeah. will be there will be times when when I'll have to tell her, you know what, go, go hang out with Allie, yeah. you know, yeah. because I can take care of the kids. I know I've been at work all day and you've been home with these kids all day, and so that's something that I need to, I need to, you know, maybe do a little bit more is encourage her to go to relax, to have a nice sit down, to have you know, have a uh, cup of tea with, with one of the friends to, yeah. to go and have dinner, to go watch a movie. And, um, you know, if, if we do have any male subscribers that are husbands that are looking for something, some, mm -hmm. some encouragement, that's my encouragement to you right now. Give your wife a break. If, Tell them to get out of it. Yeah, Seriously. Beat it. Yeah. Woman, yeah. beat it. We got this. We got this. <laughs> we got it. Yeah. But that's something that, that, that I need to remind myself to do. But it's also something that I really need to encourage Sam to do because she's very much the kind of person that will not... You know, who doesn't want to doesn't want to burden me with the kids, and they're not a burden. They're my kids. Yeah. I love them. Yeah. My job when I get home um, is to support Allison, is to give her her that break as well. There's been many times where um, I'm just like, hey, honey, you haven't been out for like a week or three. Um, go. You know, who who can you be in touch with and just get out of there? And the minute my I hear anybody talking about, you know, oh, there's a movie coming up that. Um, was there a movie, The Good Girls' Night Out or something? I'm yeah. just like, go, get out of here, like, yeah. make that happen, right? Um, so that's one thing that I do. Um, I also take care of all the washing in the mm. house. Um, my weekends, from Friday night to, like, through the Saturday, um, I just wash and dry absolutely everything. I don't fold it because I normally get it wrong. <laughs> so that's all good. She has the rest of the week to do that. But yeah. um, I also come and I basically clean up the kitchen. I mean, you know, she's chasing three kids, right? Uh, she's still nursing and it all takes a ton of time through the day, right? And so I come in and I just do the dishes. I clean off the counter. I clean off the table. Um, I, I don't normally do the cooking. I'm not so good at that. Uh, the last time I cooked for the kids was like two days ago and I actually destroyed her pan. All I was making was grilled cheese sandwiches. <laughs> Destroy. How can you destroy a brand new pan? Like, I don't know. Yeah, so I, I'm the cook yeah. in the family, and that's what I do yeah. when, when when I come home. You know, I, I try to take care of the dishes. Yeah. Uh, because you know we, we kind of split it. Yeah. Um, where she does it sometimes, I do it sometimes, but I try to I try to keep up on it. Um, because and it's something that we joke about all the time, Sam and I, is uh, well I can't make you do everything. And that's, you know, that's just like, oh, thanks for doing the dishes. Well, I can't make you do everything. You know, well, just yeah. that sort of thing. Glad he helped out. 
<laughs> yeah, and so I, uh, I, I'm the cook, and and I love to experiment with the the herbs Ooh, that that are herbs. in my garden that uh, oh, that I showed you before. You know, I I, I really like uh, you know cooking and experimenting with uh, with different spices and different things like that. So it's fun for me, yeah. but it also takes that load off of Sam. Yeah. And uh, a couple of times she's told me she's like why didn't you become a chef or yeah. something like that? Because I, I just love to do it. It's fun. You know, I know I'm not the, the greatest cook, but I have a lot of fun with it. And it's also something that I can do to, to alleviate that pressure yeah, from, from my wife. Yeah. Thanks yes. again for, for watching. I know that it can't be fun and games all the time, so we appreciate that uh, that you're sitting with us through this, uh, you know, the, the sit-down that we've got. And yeah. we'll, we'll probably do more of this. If it's yeah. something that you like, let us know. Because yeah. we want to we wanna hear your comments. We want to hear what you have to say. We want to hear, you know, how, how the things that we've been talking about, uh, how these are going on in your lives. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a two-way street. We can't just be the ones just yammering on to no. you guys all the time. We want to hear what you have to say. Thanks again. Oh, he's D. He's Jay. This is DJ Daddy, Daddy Style. Style. DJ Daddy Style.